Hey everyone, this is Kristen and welcome to the very first part of The Sims Medieval and I am so excited to finally start this series because this game looks fantastic and I've tried to record this many many times and I have failed because of technical issues but all of that is fixed now and hopefully you know y'all enjoy this series so without further ado let's get started so uh, like I said I've attempted to start this so I already have a saved game right there and for some reason I can't delete it like I have to go manually delete it like go into the specific folder for it and delete it because for some reason it won't delete but anyway we're going to start a brand new game and new beginnings. So this says everyone has to begin somewhere and the first ambition of any monarch is to populate their kingdom. A kingdom full of buildings and sims is just what a budding ruler needs. So let's get started. So do I want to furnish a th throne room or do I want to start with one? I think I want to start with one because I know if I furnish a throne room, it's going to take me forever to do. So I want to already get it furnished. So let's see, what should the kingdom be? I kind of want to go with the name Evergreen. I like that name. The Kingdom of Evergreen. I kind of like that. So we're going to go with that. And if you hear like, I don't know, like weird sounds in the background, that's my dog. He's playing so, I mean, he broke his chew toy, so you won't hear any squeaking or anything. But if you hear like some like movement in the background, that's my dog. So for once he's not sleeping, which I find really strange because in every single video that I've made, he's always snoring. But anyway, we are here in our kingdom of Evergreen. So the first thing that we need to do is click on the throne room because the throne room needs a monarch so let's create our monarch so we are here in create a sim so the first thing that we need to do is create a name so i don't know what i want to do let's randomize mauve nelson i don't know elaine kraus I kind of like Eileen Kraus. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing the last name right, but let's see about her voice. Oh, this sounds like a sweet voice. Sidaya Blashev. Yeah, I think three and four are like sweet voices, and one and two are like ones with attitudes. Like she just sounds annoyed. Weymouth <laughs> Armanage. See, it sounds sweet, but still give an attitude though. For three, but let's see. Yeah, let's do three. So let's do skin and body. So these are the facial de details. So this just basically adds more freckles and blush. So I don't know what I want to do. Um, and then this is the age modifier. So you can make your sim really old or really young. I kind of want to make her young, you know, a spring chicken. So let's see. Um, it doesn't really matter. Let's just put it in the middle for her body. I mean, so let's see about traits. So we should do, ooh, we should do vain. She's very vain. And eloquent. Oh no. Kinda don't want to do eloquent. Um let's see. Ooh, we should do dedicated. So she'll be vain and dedicated. And so let's see about a fatal flaw. So hmm. I feel like we should make like a rowdy queen, but at the same time, like she cares for her people, but she's like quick to like tell somebody like what's up. So yeah, give her a loose mouth. 
and make her uncouth. This is a cute dress. This is cute. And then there's this one. Wow, this is really fancy. Let's see. They did that. Ooh, a gold dress. Or we could do like all white. Oh, this looks pretty. This looks so pretty. Okay, definitely keeping this dress, but we need to change the color of the headband to probably yellow, the little stone in the middle. Change it to yellow. Or maybe we can change it to white. Should we change it to white instead? Yeah, I kind of like the white better. Wow, she looks really pretty. I love this color on her. So this is our Sim, Miss Eileen Kraus. And she looks very, very, very pretty. So let's get started. Well, actually, let me save her first before we actually go in game. So let's go. So we don't need to furnish the throne room because it's already furnished. So let's pick a quest. So it's the first steps called They Will Come. So let's go. So she's saying her throne room is finally complete. The builders have been working hard and the fruits of their labor are evident. I should prepare to meet with Build Master York. A quick jaunt upstairs to the mirror should suffice. So, oops. I got a new mouse, so like, if y'all like, see the camera doing something weird, it's because I'm not used to using the mouse. But I'm assuming those are the builders that just worked on the throne room and stuff. So let's go upstairs to Gussy up. So... Let's see, where's the mirror? Here it is. So, Gussy up. Wow, she teleported up those stairs fast. Who's that? But who was that guy that was in the doorway? That was weird. But, oh, there's um Yorick. So, perfect now, I'm a more, little more focused. So we need to go speak to York and discuss the castle. Oops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the camera's like stuck in this position. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. There we go. The camera controls in this game is so weird. I love their accents. Okay, so the throne room's all done, milady. We'll need some more resources. So we need to go get some wood and stone. So we gotta go to the forest now. So let's go to the location. Wow, she's so pretty. I need to take a screenshot. So we are here in the forest. So we need to collect some wildflowers. So let's discover. So we have discovered wildflowers. Hmm. Hmm. So let's collect these. I love the sound of running water. I know that's weird, but it sounds nice and calming. And then the birds chirping in the background. Okay, so there are all kinds of plants one can pick across the kingdom, I believe. Lizards, physicians, and spies use plants to make medicines and potions. Okay. Now, what does all this say? A bandit dares to threaten the queen. Oh, someone is threatening her. So it must be this woman. Forest Bandit Sidoni. That's an interesting name. So let's go um, challenge her to a duel since she wants to threaten us for some money. I like how they throw down a gauntlet. Like, <laughs> think you could beat me? We'll see about that. 
Well, your stamina is already low, so we're going to beat you, girl. Like... Oh my goodness. <laughs> the way they just fall out is just so funny. <laughs> oh, she ran out of health. She is done for. And we won! So, triumph. Bandits could really become a problem in Evergreen, but a knight or spy could curb that now that I now I can collect wood in peace. I need to stop reading fast. Trying to read fast. Because that's what is probably messing me up. So let's go collect wood. Okay. There was always adventure waiting to be found in the forest. The wood was collected and the kingdom would soon prosper from it. Fantastic. So we collected some wood. So now we have to go collect some stone from the graveyard. Oh, she's limping away. She's finally got up. It kind of looks like she's walking on like a peg leg or something. The way she's limping. And she just disappeared. So we are here. So, ah, uh, lady, can I have a word, please? It's about my work here. Okay, let's talk to her. So, discuss grave digging. Are these people dead on the ground? What's going on? Well, they're groaning, so they must be sick. So, well, me lady, I was wondering if you would consider building a church here in the kingdom. It seems it seems unceremonious to bury these people without a proper rate from a Jacobin or a pet. Pe How do you pronounce that word? Petarian priest. Thank you, my lady. I'm going to have trouble pronouncing stuff in this last play. I already know. An interesting proposition. There are many things to consider when I choose what to build next. On that note, we need that stone. What was she just doing? That looks so weird, whatever she was just doing right there. Okay, so Eileen collected stones while venturing deep into the endless network of tunnels. Eventually, she climbed down a sheer drop into a dark abyss. At the bottom, Eileen created not created. I was about to say created. At the bottom, Eileen reached an underground lake. She stumbled over a small chest sitting in a puddle. What should Eileen do? So we have the option of opening it or not opening it. So we're going to open it. So we received 125 simoleons. And okay, so that's enough stone for the builder. So I should stop by the village shop next as I may need some supplies. So let's go to the village shop. Actually, before we go over there, let's change into our actual outfit, you know? So let's speed this up. And we're here at the village shop. So this is also a rabbit hole, so let's go to the village shop. Oh, they're called Samoles, not Samoleans. Oops, I'm sorry. Here we are. So the village shop, so I think it said that we don't have to buy anything, but I kind of want to buy, let's see. Um, kind of want to buy a parrot. We're going to buy a parrot and yeah, we're just going to buy a parrot. Okay. This says a swelt lady approached Eileen, then bowed. I've heard word of your arrival and in honor have prepared two gifts to help you as you build your kingdom. However, I shall only give you one of them. The gift you receive depends on your answer to this. What virtue would you rather bring to Evergreen. So there's safety and then there's power. So let's go with safety. I feel like that's the best option. So what does it say? The lady nodded. Very good, very good, your highness. You are wise indeed. Then I present you with the gift of resilience, the monarch's armor of fortitude. It is not the best armor, but let it symbolize your goals as you build Evergreen into a great bustling kingdom. 
So we received some more armor. So I'm assuming it's better than the armor that we have now. So defense is four, weight is three. That's three for both of them. So it's slightly better in defense. So that's good. So what is this? Check safety, safety of author. Queen, queen, help please. So let's check safety. Umfage nodes. Oh, oh broke. Nah. There's a man in town square. He pushed me in the mud and called me names. This can't happen in Evergreen. Oh. So we already got to send somebody to the stocks. Uh -huh. So a bully in my kingdom? I don't think so. So let's go confront this man that pushed him in the mud. So we are here. So that must be him. I will not accept bullying in Evergreen. Let's teach him. Oh, so we need to teach him something. So, town bully Jared. He looks like he regrets it. So let's um, send two stocks. Regelinum? Uh, so the Amy constable is on his way to arrest Gerard. So what? I was just messing around. Hey. And then she's like, ah, oh, it's good to be queen. So. There's the constable. Constable Conrad. So let's go to the judgment zone. Oh, there's a little boy! Oh my goodness, he's so cute! Norman the Urchin. He is so cute! Okay, now shame the bully. Okay, so we gotta... Oh, he's going in the stocks. Oh yeah, prattling. He's like, yeah, you have to. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so... We gotta throw an egg at him. So let's throw an egg. Come on, Eileen. I really love her dress, though. The way it just ombres. I like it. So. Her own drag. Oh, <laughs> then she's laughing too. Ah, uh, it's good to be queen. Okay, so where are we going next? Oh, what is this? My lady, thank you for responding to my plea for help. For your greatness, I pledge to be your loyal servant from this day forward. I will await you in the throne room. Oh, that's sweet. So let's go to the throne room. So, oh, we're getting a bit hungry, so let's hurry up and go to the throne room so that we can get something to eat. So we are back. So what's all this? I, a traveling merchant, so then we have a bard that has arrived. Oh, is she stuck? I hope she's not stuck. Okay, good. So, let's call for some food. Yes, Lady Lean, I will get you some food right away. Can we go sit? No, we can't just sit on our throne. Uh, let's just sit here for now and wait. Or actually, let's go wait upstairs because the kitchen is upstairs. So, let's sit upstairs in our kitchen. Hopefully he sits it down right in front of us. Watch him sit it on the opposite end of the table. Mm. <laughs> and then she's gonna have to get up and go over here. But hopefully he sits it down right here. Mm. See, I told you guys he was gonna sit it on the opposite end of the table. <laughs> okay, but there we go. 
And she's eating with her hand. Hot food with her hand. I'm pretty sure she has burned her hand many, many times eating with her hand. But I like that ring she got got on. I wish I can zoom in, but I can't. It won't let me zoom in. Okay, so let's go try to entice the bar down here. So let's, um, if he would stop moving around. Let's see. Um, friendly. Let's chat with him. We'll just wait and see if we get the interaction to give Flower. Oh. <laughs> wow, Eileen won the rough house test of strength. Wow, she's strong in it. Well, he does play guitar. Well, it's not a guitar, it's a lute. So he probably doesn't really get out much. <laughs> okay, so he appreciated the wildflower. So now we gotta go give the resources to Yorick. Now she's thinking she's all in love now. Oh, what are they doing over here? Are they making something? Wow. Cool. Ha -ha. Just giving the resources. There we go. We completed that. So he's saying those look mm -hmm. great. Give me some time to take inventory. And I'll make sure we have enough resources for the next building you wish to build for. Okay. So it looks like we have some time to ourselves. So we got to do a couple things. We need to pass an edict. How do you do that? On the tactical map. Okay. Propose an edict. Okay, so we are proposing an edict. So, what is this? Raise the minimum of required wage for all required apprentices in the kingdom. Establish a, an official recognized bank of the kingdom in Tredoni. Let's, uh, I guess, raise the minimum wage. Okay, so edicts are ready to be voted on. Otherwise, voting will be called on automatically in two oh. hours. Okay. Uh. So we proposed an edict, and we need to read the war crimes docket. So we have to sign... An arrest warrant. So let's go sign a royal warrant. Oh, are they fighting out here? What's going on? Oh, they do not like each other at all. And then she starts dancing to the music. Okay, so we're writing our little. Arrest warrant. Oh, that's so pretty. So where is he at? He's over there. Oh, it's a woman. Oops. So her name is Merchant Demetra. Oh. Okay, so we have to do another vote. So additional guards, okay, what is this? Raise the minimum required rage, wage for all hired apprentices in the kingdom. Additional guards will be sent to the village on market days to help prevent stealing and mugging. Mm. I feel like this one's more important, the village, you know? Okay, so the edict is passed. So this one got failed because, you know, we're working on the safety of our kingdom more than, you know, power and stuff. So let's see. The constable is on his way to arrest Demetra. So I'm going to go to extra mile today and take on more responsibilities. Oh, what is she holding out her sword at us for? Oh, she's sharpening it. 
Oh, brave him. Oh, and what, it's, she's getting scared. Oh my goodness. I think it's because she's cowardly, right? No, she's uncouth. Why is she getting scared? There's the constable. So what do we need to do? Write a letter of hire. So let's go back home. And we need to write a treaty of ongoing peace to peace. So let's go write a peace treaty. And then we're probably going to go to bed after that. Yeah, she's getting sleepy. So we submitted a peace treaty. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize you would do all this stuff. Okay, ask two citizens about life in Evergreen. Okay, she needs to go to bed because, I mean, it's almost 2 a.m. So I'm also going to end this part here. And the next part of The Sims Medieval will be uploaded tomorrow. So... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a like and comment and subscribe if you are new. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow for another part. Bye everyone.